Hello, and welcome to Drunk on Tea. Today, I'm going to paint a space marine in the style of the Blood Angels using the classic Citadel paints from the 90s to give it that true retro look. So as you can see, I've primed the model white and I've also dipped the base in sand, ready for giving it that goblin green retro look later on. Now the first thing I'm doing is I'm coming in with some blood red and we're going to paint this all over the power armour to the model. Doesn't matter if you're a little bit messy at this stage and get it over areas that aren't the power armour, we'll be coming in with some darker colours later to paint over most of these areas. But this paint is going to take a couple of layers to build up to a solid coat of blood red all over the power armour. So just make sure you work this into all of the recesses of the power armour in a couple of thin layers, build up to a solid coat of blood red all over the power armour to our blood angel. So this classic blood red colour gives a really bright red colour to our space marine, much brighter than the Mephiston red, which is used now for blood angels. This is the old retro colour for second edition blood angels, and it truly is that iconic bright red look of 90s miniatures. So at this stage, I'm just working my way around the model, applying a couple of thin layers of blood red to all the areas of the power armor. I'm also getting this over areas like the undersuit and things like that, because it doesn't matter, as I'll be coming in later with a darker color to paint over the blood red. But generally with these classic paints, you do want to avoid getting it over areas that you don't want to be that color and leaving the white primer showing. But luckily we can tidy up with some skull white for some of the areas we need to be bright but most of the areas will be painted over with a darker color so it doesn't matter if i get some blood red over these areas here on the backpack i'm making sure i work this into all of those recesses so i don't leave any of that white primer showing I'm just going to build up in a couple of layers until i get a solid coat of blood red all over the power armor As you can see, after the first coat, it's still very patchy coverage all over that power armor. So I'm gonna come in now with a second coat, build it up till I get a solid coat of blood red all over the armor. It should only take two or three coats to get a solid cover all over this power armor. But I'm just gonna keep on applying thin layers of blood red until I get that solid coat all over the Space Marine. This paint flows really smoothly off of the brush, but just doesn't give fantastic coverage on the first layer. So you've got to build up in a few thin layers until you get those solid bright colors for that retro look. And after a few coats, I've built up to a solid blood red color all over the power armor. So the next thing I'm gonna do is paint some of the details on the Space Marine. For this, I'm coming in with some Chaos Black. I'm gonna pick out areas like the trim on the shoulder pads. Obviously, I'm gonna be really careful around the blood red. Don't wanna get any of this black over the areas I wanna be red on the power armor. Just carefully applying some Chaos Black to the trim on the shoulder pads. I'm 
Moss going to pick out any of the parts of the undersuit to all these ribbed bits here sticking out between the panels to the power armor. Once again, being really careful around the areas of the power armor that we want to be red, ensuring I just get this on the undersuit. So I'm really taking my time, being nice and careful around the areas of red, ensuring I just get the chaos black on those undersuit areas. I'm also picking out any of the pouches and the belt on the model. So he's got a pouch on either side. So I'm picking these out with a couple of layers of chaos black as well, building up so I get a solid black color all over those pouches. There were also some cables, certain points on the armor. So I'm picking these out with chaos black as well. And I'm also picking out all of the bolt gun with a couple of layers of Chaos Black as well. I'm going to try and avoid the skull because I'll be coming back in and painting this later. But just make sure you cover all of the bolt gun with a couple of layers of Chaos Black to build up to a nice solid coat of black all over that bolt gun. I'm also picking out any of the details that will be metallic later with Chaos Black. Because unfortunately in this set I didn't get Mithril Silver. So I'll be painting that with Lead Belcher. And Lead Belcher looks a lot better off of a black base coat than a white base coat. So I'm just going to pick out all the areas that I want to be metallic. With Chaos Black as well. So when I'm picking out those metallic details. I'm also picking out the vent for backpack. With a layer of Chaos Black. Just to give us a nice solid black base for applying the Lead Belcher later. And with all of that black applied, it's really given the model that Blood Angel look. So the next thing I'm going to pick out is any of the skulls and the Aquila. But for this, I'm coming in with Skull White first. And where we've caught some of these areas with the Blood Red, I'm just going to bring these back up to a bright white colour for the yellow paint next. So I'm being nice and careful, just picking out a skull on this backpack. as well as the one on his gun where it may have got a little bit of black on it carefully picking this out with some skull white and I'm also going to carefully pick out the Aquila on his chest with some skull white as well so you try not to get this over any of the blood red but if you do get a little bit of it over the blood red you can paint back over it and being nice and neat and just catching those skulls and Aquila with some skull white. And with that white applied, it's given us that nice solid bright base coat for applying the yellow in our next step. So for this, it will be sunburst yellow, which is a notoriously thin paint, doesn't give great coverage, which is why I painted these areas white so now in a couple of layers of sunburst yellow, I'm going to build up to a solid yellow colour all over these details. So for that retro second edition look, a lot of gold details were painted yellow. Really gave them that bright 90s look that we all know from old editions of White Dwarf. So I'm going to make sure I pick out all of these details very carefully with a couple of layers of sunburst yellow. Once again, being really careful around all the other details, I'm just applying several layers until I build up to that solid coat. And with that sunburst yellow applied, it's really made that Aquila and skull detail stand out. So the next thing to paint is any of the metallics. And for this, I'm coming in with the modern lead belcher because I don't have that classic Mythal Silver, unfortunately. I'm just going to pick out any of the details I want to be metallic. 
like the muzzle to the gun, the magazine casing and some details. On the bolt gun, carefully picking these out with a layer of lead belcher. Being nice and careful around all the other colors we've already painted, just picking out these details with a little bit of lead belcher to give them a nice metallic look. And I'm also gonna pick out the vents on the backpack as well. I'm just gonna catch these with a couple of layers of lead belcher to build up to a nice solid metallic color. And with those metallics applied, that is the final base coat applied to the Space Marine. So now the next step is gonna to be to apply some shades to the miniature. So the first shade I'm applying is some blood red with a little bit of chaos black, thinned down with a lot of water. I'm gonna apply this as a pin shade into all of the recesses of the power armor. When we thin this down with a lot of water, it's gonna flow really smoothly into all of those recesses. Just darken these areas down a little bit, really adding interest and definition all over the model. Try and be nice and neat with this pin shade, just getting it into those recesses. If you do find it's pooling a little bit too heavily in a recess, you can wick it away with a dry brush. I'm just going to work my way around the model and in all of the recesses to the power armor, the edge of every panel, every detail, and just going to apply a thin pin shade to this darkened down blood red. This will really add definition all over the power armor. It's really worth taking your time at this stage because I find these pin shades really are one of the most important steps on painting Space Marines really make that armor pop and add definition all over the miniature. And I'm being really careful here on his helmet as this is the focal point to the model. I don't want these lines to be too thick. But I'm just applying this pin shade of this mix into every recess of the power armor. And now with some sunburst yellow and snake bite leather. Once again, thinning this down with a lot of water, we're gonna apply this as an all over shade to all the areas we painted with sunburst yellow. You only wanna add a little bit of snake bite leather to this mix. So it's not too dark. You just wanna darken down those yellow areas just a little bit, add some definition into those recesses but without darkening down the highest points too much. And finally, with some pure chaos black, thinned down with a lot of water, just gonna apply some of this shade to all the areas we paint with lead belcher. You really wanna thin this down so it's not too stark and too heavy. Just apply it to all the areas of metallics, it will sink into the recesses and add some definition to the metal areas. If you're enjoying the video, please press like. If you want more videos, press the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. If you would like to support the channel and become a member, please press the join button down below. And after those shades have dried, you can see they've added definition all over the space mine. So now it's time to start highlighting. First thing I'm gonna highlight is the power armor. For this, I'm coming in with a mix of blood red and sunburst yellow. I'm just gonna apply this as a thin edge highlight on the edges of all the panels to the power armor. 
the reason I use sunburst yellow here instead of white is because I'd rather this be more of an orangey highlight rather than a pink highlight. So by adding the yellow into the red, it will move it into that orange colour rather than the pink colour that would happen if we added skull white to the mix. It also keeps it as that much more highly saturated colour and works really well as an edge highlight to a Blood Angel. So at this stage here, I'm just picking out every raised detail, the edge of every panel, and working my way around the model and just applying a really thin edge highlight of this mix to the edge of every single panel on the Space Marine. If at any point you come in a little bit too thick, you can paint back over the area with a little bit of blood red. But just take your time at this stage, work your way around the model and apply a little bit of this mix as an edge highlight to all of the panels of the power armour. These classic paints do mix really well and allow you to create a load of different bright and vibrant colours but unfortunately the coverage isn't always the best with them so you do have to be quite careful about not mixing them too thin or otherwise you're going to have to come back and do several layers of highlights which is just a real pain when painting. But as you can see this blood red and sunburst yellow has created a really nice orange mix for highlighting power armour. It's not too far off the current Wild Rider Red, which is a really great highlight colour for Blood Angels anyway. So you see, I'm just working my way around every panel and picking them all out with a thin edge highlight of this mix, which works really well with the shade we applied to give definition and interest all over the power armour. And with that edge highlight applied, you can see it's made all of those panels stand out, really added interest all over the power armour. So the next step is I'm going to paint the eyes to the Space Marine. For this I'm coming in with some Goblin Green first. I'm going to sink this into the recesses of the eye lenses, being really careful around the blood red, just applying a little bit of goblin green into those eye lenses. With those eye lenses painted, you see we've got a bright green eye showing through. So I'm mixing a little bit of Goblin Green and Skull White. With this I'm going to apply a really thin line just at the very bottom of the eye lenses. Keeping this line nice and thin, just applying it at the very bottom of the eye lens. With that mix applied, there's just one final step left to apply to paint the eyes and that's with some pure skull white. I'm just gonna apply a small spot of this, the very back corner of the eye lens. This will look like a reflection point for light and add some interest to those eyes. With the eye lenses painted, there's only a couple of things left to highlight on this model now. The next one of those will be all of the areas of black. So for this I'm coming in with some black and skull white in about a 50-50 mix. I'm going to pick out all of the details we painted black. So on all the areas of the undersuit, I'm picking out every one of these little raised ridges on his undersuit with a thin line of grey. I'm also going to pick out the edges to all of the pouches just catching the very edge with a thin, sharp highlight of this grey mix. I'm just going to pick the outer edge to his shoulder pads as well, 
just very carefully catching these with a bit of grey. And I'm also going to edge highlight the edges of all of the details on the bolt gun. So I'm trying to keep this line nice and thin, just catching the very edge details on the bolter with a thin highlight of this grey mix we've made. And with that grey applied, there's just one final thing left to highlight on this base mine. And that's going to be the metallic details, just to brighten them back up again. For this, I'm coming in with some Stormhost Silver. So I'm going to just catch the very edges of all of the metallic details, just to brighten them up where they've been darkened down by our shade. So just catch the very tips and sharpest points with a little bit of Stormhost Silver. And with that storm hose silver applied, that is the final highlight applied to our Space Marine. All that's left to do now is to give it a classic Goblin Green Retro Base. But now, as well as these classic Citadel paints, I have picked up these Coke to Arms classic colours as well, which a lot of people say are the exact same paints as the old Citadel paints from the 90s. So I'm going to do a little bit of comparison test in next week's video and see how these truly compare to the classic paints that I've just been using. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments down below what would you like to see me paint with these classic paints or the coat de arms paints that can be used in their place. But thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and happy painting.